We're asked to find the exact values of sine a and cosine a if tangent a is equal to negative five-sevenths and sine a is greater than zero. Remember, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, and because our tangent function value is negative, in order for this quotient to be negative, x and y must have opposite signs, which means tangent theta is negative in the second quadrant, where x is negative and y is positive, as well as in the fourth quadrant, where x is positive and y is negative. But we're also told that sine a is greater than zero. Remember, sine theta is equal to y divided by r, and because r is always positive, in order for this quotient to be greater than zero, y must also be positive, which means the terminal side of angle A must be in the second quadrant, where y is positive, not in the fourth quadrant, where y is negative. So let's go ahead and sketch the terminal side of angle A in quadrant two. Let's say this is the terminal side of angle A. Of course, we know the initial side of angle A would be along the positive x-axis. The reference angle for angle A is this angle here formed by the terminal side and the negative x-axis. Let's also sketch the reference triangle. Let's let this be the reference triangle. And again, now that we know that we are in quadrant two, where x is negative and y is positive, let's write tangent A, which we know is equal to y divided by x as positive five over negative seven, again, because we are in the second quadrant. So we know x is equal to negative seven and y is equal to positive five. Let's also record these values on the reference triangle. The opposite side or y is positive five and the adjacent side or x is negative seven. And the hypotenuse is r. And now in order to find the exact values of sine a and cosine a, we need to find r using the Pythagorean theorem or the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And remember, r is always positive. So using the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared, we substitute negative seven for x and positive five for y. The square of negative seven is 49. The square of five is 25. 49 plus 25 is equal to 74. To solve for r, we take the principal square root of both sides because we know r is positive which gives us r equals positive square root 74, which does not simplify. Let's go ahead and record r here, as well as on the reference triangle. And now we have all the information we need to find the exact value of sine a and cosine a. Sine a is equal to y divided by r so using these values here, we have five divided by the square root of 74, or if we use the reference triangle, we would have the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which gives us the same value. And the exact value of cosine A is equal to X divided by R, which is equal to negative seven divided by the square root of 74, or using the reference triangle, we have the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which also gives us negative seven divided by the square root of 74. So here are the exact values of sine a and cosine a, but just in case you are required to rationalize the denominators, let's also show that work. If you want to rationalize the denominator of five divided by the square root of 74, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 74, which gives us five square root 74 divided by 74. Similarly, for the cosine function value, we again multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 74, which gives us a negative seven square root 74 divided by 74. So we can also express the sine function value as five square root 74 divided by 74, and we can express the cosine function value as negative seven square root 74 divided by 74. I hope you found this helpful.